what we are looking at here is a sadly typical example of the federal government attempting to fix a problem and instead making it much, much worse. This is the wash that washed out across Paloma Trail in southern Cochise County, Arizona last July in 2013. It is now January of 2014 and for the last two days there have been F and M A or F M and A, how that is, it's the uh, facilities and management engineering folks that support the Border Patrol. They've had a, a big, huge, really, a backhoe here and a bulldozer, and they've been clearing the debris from that washout, which took out a concrete apron and somewhat for a while stranded. 30 or so families who live below the wash of, of whom my wife and I count as one. Now, when that happened, there was all kinds of concrete chunks left from the crash that broke, broke up the concrete apron that gave us a way across the wash except when the waters were running too strongly. There was a portion of that wash Let's see, we've got a car coming here, we'll let them go by. There was a portion of that which, which did survive about two feet wide of uh, the up, upstream side buttress of the apron held together and at least gave us all a footbridge across this area. Now, during that period, it was frequently, uh, some of the neighbors, we didn't do this, but many did, would park one of their vehicles on the north side of the wash, on the town side, and then they would come down and park the other one when they had to go to town on the south side, walk across the bridge, head on into town, etc., and, re you know, reverse the process going back. Now, interestingly enough, we have a neighbor, a Robert Stoner, who lives nearby here, who has a backhoe, and pretty quickly, in fact, the next day, he got out here and made us a one-lane trail around past the upper edge of that footbridge that vehicles could travel. Now, every time it flash flooded during the monsoon months of July and August here in Arizona, it would wash out his work, but he would simply go back and fix it again. Now, in the meantime, when we couldn't get through that way, uh, John Ladd at the Ladd Ranch had graciously opened up his property to allow us to cross through his ranch land to reach the international border road down by the border fence. And the Border Patrol was equally gracious in allowing us access to get out that way. Now, we had to loop around through Naco across 36 other washes on International Border Road, I counted them, and loop back up to Bisbee and back around just to cover what was normally a mile or two here. However, all of that was made worse today because I did some research after discovering what these folks were doing, and it sounded pretty good at first. I mean, it looked like maybe we would be getting uh, getting in some good a bridge here or even a replacement of the concrete apron. And that sounded marvelous. However, this division that is doing this work has ripped out the footbridge and is not going to replace the dirt or top the dirt with any sort of concrete bridge, replacement apron, or anything. I have learned that instead what's happened is they are, we have another vehicle here, we'll let them get by. Another one of our neighbors heading out. Okay. Now, instead what they have done, they are broadening this. This is, you know, just almost good enough to travel 
two lanes here. I don't think any of us would do it, but it's a lot wider than it was. And it looks pretty nice through here right now. I have to say that. But the thing is, when the rains come, it'll cut through here like a hot knife through butter. There is no, there will be none of this pile of riprap up here, which is on the broken concrete chunks. You can't see it very well in the dark here, but I want to get this written and published before daylight. There's a huge pile up here where the bulldozer has been pushing it up out of the way. Anyway, there will be no riprap to hold the dirt. It will just fly downstream. I mean, it will just, there'll be nothing to it, and it'll be a lot worse than it was in 2013. Now, what I have learned from my research, it took some calls and some talking to people, is that the facilities and management group are responsible only for what they call repair and maintenance. Now, to me, repair means replacing the missing apron that got washed out. But they don't look at that way. Uh, perhaps this is fed speak or something. And they only are saying, well, this is all they're going to be doing is the dirt work, basically. And there is another division. I didn't find out the name of it exactly, but it's another federal branch or organization or civilian contractors, whoever they are. And they are tasked with doing the construction if there is to be any. But, but in this economy and under the current situations and with the federal funding the way it is, they don't have any money, at least not any money for for this organ for this uh, project here. So basically, we're getting a lot of pretty dirt right now, which will make it kind of nice until next summer. And then, I can't say that all hell will break loose, but certainly all flood will, and we'll be back to square one. So, once again, a wonderful fix by the federal government, which looks like it's going to have made things about three times worse than the original problem. Very much like Obamacare.